Hey guys, um, so I got a request to do a tutorial for a one-handed vortex from um, Phoenix on Hoop City, so I'm going to. Uh, this trick is not, it's not very difficult, it just requires a lot of arm strength, so um, it may be kind of wobbly at first or um, difficult to um, to do just like a, with a regular vortex it gets you need to have that arm strength to bring it back up it's the same kind of situation so just keep practicing and I promise it will get easier and easier and easier as your arms get stronger um, anyway the trick looks like this and um, Really, it's not too much different from doing this. It's just that it requires the strength and momentum of um, just one hand. So with this, you can just lift it up and down like this. With this, you're going to really need to have a tight grip so that you can do this. So you might want to, um, should at first get comfortable with that, my hand kind of rotates around the hoop so when I'm up above my head it's going to be underneath but on the inside and as I come down it ends up on the top on the outside and when I bring it up it's going to end up awkwardly up here so you're going to want to again switch and swing it again so um I guess the other, I guess the one thing to practice first would be having it lasso above your head and then to grab it so that it's over top of you and your hands on the inside. And then practice just going like this. Get comfortable with just using one hand and making sure that the hoop's parallel to the floor. That's where your strength is going to come in, particularly in your forearm and your hand because. It does get hard um, with a lighter hoop less so, but um, it does get difficult to keep the hoop straight, and that's where the illusion is. So practice grabbing it and bringing it down, and that's actually called a wind-up when you're just going like this and then you can put it on yourself or whatever. Um, then once you've, com well, you've gotten comfortable with the grabbing and the bringing down, um, we can move on to the bringing it up, which is really the hardest part, just like in a vortex, it gets awkward and you have to use a lot of weird arm strength that you didn't know you had. Um, but essentially, your hand is just going to be going up and down like this, and then it's really your body turning around that creates the illusion. The hardest part is definitely, once you get up here, switching your grip to underneath and letting it uh, lasso around. So, um, so we're going to start. I have the hoop above my head. I'm going to grab it on the inside. And then I'm just going to slowly start bringing my hand down. And you can do as many rotations as you like. Um, generally, I will just do one. I come down, so I'm about to start. And my hand is like this on the top. Then as I'm coming up, hand's still on the top until I get to about here. And then... I'm going to switch to the inside again, bring it the rest of the way up, and let it go. Um, that part where you switch your grip is going to rely a lot on momentum, as you'll see as you're doing this. So I'm coming down, and then once I get to here, once I get to about here, it's really just shoving my arm up and opening my hand to let it lasso. And that's probably the most difficult part of the trick, is to keep it parallel to the ground while using the arm muscle. So um, it may be difficult at first, but I promise that with practice and um, arm strength, it will get a lot easier. Particularly if you have a light hoop. This is a PolyPro, um, like like 32 or so inches or something. I'm borrowing it from a friend, but. Um, really great for this kind of thing. So, um, that's it. Let me know if you need any clarification or help or you want to send me 
a video of yourself doing it if you're not sure that you're doing it right or just whatever. Um, also a tutorial request too because I really love getting those and figuring out what to make next because I don't know, I can never decide. <laughs> Alright, so um, good luck and let me know how it goes.